Hello everyone and welcome to my new episode on Ethereum's price analysis and technical details. This is Scramble as usually. We're going to take care about the market data in the most rational way possible as we are entering in a new episode. And it is great to talk about the things that are trying to hide in between the lines in order to eliminate the mistakes and get closer to the profits. Here we are today, very close to $2 trillion for the whole market, which is a good sign of recovery, guys. Now, the 24 hours volume for the Saturday that we're in at the moment, it's, you know, 5th of February. It is very, very low in terms of cryptocurrency transactions. It's just 80 sort of away billion dollars. 80 billion dollars for the whole market. It is a level that used to be categorized as low volume. Now, having in mind it is weakened, it is an average volume, so we need to adapt to the current data set. On the other side, I'd like to underline the whole market gap, which looks pretty interesting in terms of the entire space. Even if we exclude the BTC, which means that the altcoins had a good reaction yesterday and over the night, so we're pretty much in good hands at the moment. I'd like to zoom into a little bit for the past, let's take a look at this period, which is awesome. Now let's do this, let's take a look at the last three months. During the last three months, we've been constantly plummeting and currently it seems like we're ready to spike above the levels. We're ready to move higher in terms of. Oh, here we go. Now I am having the whole volume basically for the past three months. Let me just do this a little bit differently. Let me try and get this thing for one year. Beautiful. So. Let's take a look at the data under this circumstances. And what we have here is a complete uptrending move with a downtrending move. And the downtrending move has a resistance line, which we're about to get out. Now, the resistance line we're about to sort of away get out is going to be a very good ramp for movements upwards that got to be confirmed which means that there's always a retracement to take the highly leveraged users out. Markets are not going to go like this. And then basically like that. So everyone who buys here or anywhere else on 50x, 25x, 30x is going to make millions of dollars without any issue. There's no such a thing, guys. The exchanges are not permitting that. And there's always a time when you think that your world it's the sweetest and the happiest. They will knock it down to take the liquidity and all the highly leveraged people. That is an extremely, extremely safe position to go long. Now, I got to say that there is no financial advice or investment advice. We're talking about things from the data standpoint that are having a grade of probability which is pretty high for market continuation after each and every single retracement during this stage. Just like you can see when you're uptrending, take a look at that and let me just clear, let me just clear the things and share with you. When you're uptrending, there are retracements. Look at that. There's three significant retracements there. I mean, we just started yesterday to pump, so it's not the end of the world to expect the retracement right away. But at the same time, we need to act very cautiously with the longs, especially with the times that we're entering them, because we need to be close towards the supports. So that's about the market gap. I'd like to talk about the data of Ethereum, but not before. I'd like to share with you my commission trading movement, which is something you can participate without upfront fees. Feel free to check out scramblecoaching.com slash today. You see my trading results of the past and on the right side you will be able to see how does it work simply commission from the pure profit achieved it's trading through api here in the bottom right corner you can see how you can join as well as for the ones looking to learn how to trade and become professional traders make sure to check out the 
coaching program on scramblecoaching.com simple. Let's go forward for the Ethereum chart, guys, as I promised, and look into the numbers that are trying to hide in between the lines as well as what does the language communicate with us at the moment for the four hour candlesticks. Please keep in mind that every single time frame speaks something else. The trader has certain settings depending on the desires in terms of time frames and correlate those time frames in order to discover a proper judgment. So at the end of the day, no single time frame is sufficient for us to make a decision. On the other side of the things, the level of TA I am presenting here on my channel publicly, it is created in a form for everyone to be understood. So it's nothing advanced or complicated. I'm trying to make it as simple as possible for everyone out there having the idea of what we're talking about and get as much as possible. We're talking about a representation of a downtrending channel resistance line, which has been running for a while, guys. It has been very powerful and that is significant. This channel line could be a environment instead of a channel, which is something that I would definitely debate on, but it more likely inclined towards an environment compared to the channel. So we're talking about a huge force which is exactly something that we're dealing at this time. And that's pretty interesting, by the way. Ethereum is dealing with the resistance line of environment or channel. There is a mixture of selling pressure above, which is something that I usually consider points of attraction when we have layers of resistances located near to each other, which is like floors at different levels of resistances located close to each other, we tend to take those resistances and some are in the middle on the upper side of the levels, some are in the, you know, upper side, some are in the late side, in the most highest points of the layers of the floors, we tend to reverse. So this is the first, basically, level and layer of resistance of this structure that I'm about to share with you. This is the structure I'm talking about at the moment. The green line is the first body out there which is acting against us. Whatever is above, in between the two blue lines, there is a zone that's having the red color. That's the golden pocket from the top downwards. So that's gonna act as a resistance at the same time higher there is a structure high with massive massive amount of liquidity it's all gonna act as a selling pressure i'm not talking about reversing back to 2200 bucks no i'm talking about points on which we'll have to be very careful for the ones that have swing trades and position trades be very careful for the ones doing day trades which by the way, within the past three days, by doing day trades, we've been able to make anywhere between 40 to 90%, depending on the risk profile for our commission trading. So day trading is extremely, extremely highly profitable. On the other side of the things, there is an uptrending resistance line located here with an uptrending support line that have been activated very, very good guys. So what were some great signs of force well i'll zoom into and talk about it under that form this is where you need to look at it guys there is a touch over there which i highly enjoy and i like the engulfing that we get on the touch plus the reaction afterwards which is bullish that little red candles that we have over there is a bullish reaction with the proof of lack of bearishness lack of selling force appearing at the time it should have so straight away once the new candle has been established after the little red one we have started the pump at the time we broke above the high on the 5 15 minute candle it was over 
liquidity has been starting to be grabbed and we have pumped the market pretty high. We have actually pumped more than 100 bucks over during that move. So we were quite strongly heading toward the resistance line here of the channel. The closure is a forced closure and such kind of candlesticks as soon as they have any similar candlesticks in prior structures which is right because they have this one that green one with this two green one is a proof of dominance in four hour candlestick this is clearly telling us there is massive amount of market orders coming into the space which is a good sign because it's a whales behind it it's actually whales behind those candlesticks and we can see it in the closures as well as in the neighbor structures that we're having here the the you know whole building the next thing here is the reaction basically on the selling pressure which has been uh, significant from both sides we had a huge volatility there obviously a lot of the people thought that we're reversing and they shorted the markets which is something they have been defeated and knocked out now what's happening at the moment is a very normal bearish reaction on the resistance point and if we face any form of resistance above again is any reversal possibility on the table now the two lines that are you know very interesting the upcoming resistance line that used to be will act as a support here for example if we come here it will act as a support i'd love to see getting some highs touched and have retracement to support react on the support see the force plus see the domination once we see the domination it's not enough only a reaction it's very good again to be in a strong trade what's happening here guys on the upper side well i have to zoom out again there is a fake out triangle, which is a strong representation in which we could simply poke up and then crash back from there. Obviously, in terms of retracement, never a reversal of the current trend. Right now, we're clearly looking for going higher. Plus, on top of these things, there is the liquidity bubble, which is generated by this candlesticks here. Let me just do this. It's generated by those red candlesticks. There's three red candlesticks there that have tons of liquidity bubble. If you're asking me if we successfully get above 34,000, uh, 3,400, 3,400, if we successfully get above that, then inevitably we're going to grab at least 90% of the liquidity bubble at least 90 percent would be around 3750 which is a good point now that doesn't mean it has to come today it doesn't mean you're not going to still see selling pressure in the game if you're looking back which is something you definitely need to do if you're a trader look this this represented an uptrending move i think we had tons of pullbacks Look at that. One, two, uh, three, four, and the trend was over. This was the fifth, and then instead of sort of away constructing on it, we came down massively. One, two, three, four, five, and a highly volatile ranging structure, which I'm sure took out a lot of the highly leveraged traders. So what they did is they pumped, took out some traders, pumped again, taking out some traders, doing a massive, highly manipulated market in that box, having another move, taking out traders, having another move, taking out traders, and then pumping up basically to the highest levels from where they crashed down. So they have one point of massive eliminations of the longs. Number two, 
we had one, two, three, four retracements that definitely sort of away, squeezed some longs out of the way. And the final move downwards, which was very aggressive. It is not easy, even during the movements upwards. I do enjoy any type of direction and it doesn't matter to me, but most likely I enjoy things that are not too hyped up because the hyped up move can go from momentum towards momentum, just like reverse in a very aggressive form, which is not easy to be controlled. So this is why I'm saying I definitely enjoy the non-emotional markets, which is something in the crypto space happening pretty rarely, by the way, but we're used to that. So this is where we are at the moment. Like I said, uh, nothing to be uh, scared at the moment, but at the same time, the comfort zone for trading is building up. We still need to collect a little bit more information about the current level. And I'm definitely sure things are going to look pretty well within the upcoming period. I said February has to be a decent month. We're looking for the 2022 year to make money from high volatility situations, yet bulls are bears. Who cares who dominates the space as long as we make money? That's pretty much all about today's video. Feel free to check out scramblecoaching.com. Links in the description or comments area for the uh, you know, coaching. And then if you would like to take a look at the trading part for API, uh, no upfront fees directly commissioned from profit, check out the page mentioned in the description area. Pretty much all guys for today. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and I see you next time.